Hello everybody, this is my wife's Hyundai Santa Fe 2007, the 2.2 liter diesel engine and um, after we stopped a few days back to have some dinner at the services on the motorway, it failed to start and uh, after a few tries it did start, engine light came on, came home, everything good and then yesterday it failed to start for good. Now it just cranks and does nothing. So out of experience, this should be a sensor, maybe the camshaft sensor. But um, I'm gonna hook it up, put the OBD reader on it, see what it says. And um, hopefully I'll get to the bottom of it. Just... Uh, just just need to get some readings to point me in the right direction shouldn't be a big job hopefully but uh, with these asian vehicles i learned not to get excited too fast because sometimes they can be a pain so i've just got a obd reader nothing fancy you can have much more expensive than these ones you can have much cheaper than these ones and uh, they all do pretty much the same job. So, ignition on. So we got on European vehicles, go to Hyundai. <sighs> 2007, like I said, this is the 2.2 .2 liter diesel, four piston, Santa Fe, it's the CM, how they call it, 2.2, so yep, alright, so, I don't have many menus on this one, for example, the Audi has like 70 menus, but, what can I say, Europeans, engine management, alright, alright, let's see what it comes up with, Now, because it doesn't start anymore, it may not come with any codes, but hopefully I'll have something saved in the memory to figure it out. So, codes. All right, crankshaft. Oh, crap. Crankshaft position sensor abnormal. Uh, I was hoping it would be the camshaft, because I've done the camshaft before, but I've not done the crankshaft. Now, usually these ones should be on the flywheel, so... It could be a matter of uh, crawling like a little worm underneath the car. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, uh, I don't recommend you doing this, but this is how I do it. Um, I all, I, I'll go and buy the uh, crankshaft sensor, just in case, just to have it. And um, Because if I don't need it, if I find a broken wire or something, I'll always be able to take the sensor back and get my money back if I don't uh, if I don't open it if it's in the original packaging and so on. So if I have it, then I won't have to worry about anything because I'll just swap it over and hopefully the problem will be solved. Yeah, so I'll go get the sensor and then um, I'll come back to you guys and show you what I, what I've been up to. All right, so we're back. I just went to the shop and uh, got this crankshaft sensor. It's not a genuine one, not a genuine Hyundai one. So, but it does say made in Italy. So hopefully it'll be all right. Now, this is what it looks like. Mm, it's got three pins and by the looks of it, I'd say this is one of them that goes in the engine block rather than on the flywheel. But I got no clue. So uh, let's see if we can find it. Because, uh, like I said, not done one of these before. So I'm not really sure what it is. Oh, we got a snail. That's not good. But that didn't broke my car, so... Um, yeah, 
Uh, you know what? We'll do this the other way. I'll um, I'll find it and then I'll let you guys know where it is. Because otherwise, this video will have like 25 hours of me trying to find it. So, see you in a bit. Right, we're back. So, like I said, I had to do a little bit of digging. And in the end, so this is the front of the, en the car, right? Left-hand side of the engine. Uh, so the crankshaft sensor, I found its plug, which is located here by the high-pressure fuel pump. This is its plug. And if you follow the wire, which is the way I found it, you'll see that it goes all the way down towards the gearbox where the flywheel is, as I said in the first place. And it's all the way back. This is the turbo. Yeah, turbo right here. So it's in the back of the engine, underneath the EGR valve, all the way down, follow the wire. And unfortunately, I can't see it, but I can feel it. It's got one 10 mil bolt. Uh, and that holds it in. So let's see if I can, if I can film it. And uh, I'll, I'll see it in the same way. So as you can see, I had to take air filter box off. Uh, turbo intake pipe that came off so air filter box is here air filter box is here this is the ECU comes off it's I took it off I took the bracket off just to give me some more clearance just not, not disconnected just get got out of the way so turbo intake hose that comes all the way to the filter box yeah so it's uh, quite straightforward that one and it's gonna be all the way down there. So let's see if I can, uh, if I've got a big phone. So let's see if this fits. So like I said, this is its plug. Goes all the way underneath. That's the EGR valve turbo. And it goes somewhere. I don't think you can see anything because I can't see anything. So anyway, somewhere in this area, yeah? So, I can't see it. I don't think if I was on the garage floor, I would have been able to see it any better. So, I hope it helps. Just uh, do your best. It It is there. All you have to do is just find it. So, I'll um, because it's difficult, I'll uh, take it out. And then I'll show it to you closer. And I'll explain how it goes in, how it goes out. Just because there's literally no filming in there. Christ's sake, I mean, it's uh, it's a big of a bit of a job. Um, it's let's say it's tighter than a dog's buttocks, and that's watertight. So yeah, pull it out. Be right back. Now, I am trying to make an effort to try and help you guys find it easier. So I've put my ratchet on the bolt itself. So. As I said, it's on the engine block all the way somewhere down there. I hope you can see something because I won't be seeing it until I actually watch this video myself. So that's where the crankshaft sensor is, close to the flywheel on the engine block. All right, so let's pull it out. And now I have to admit, I thought I'll be able to do this from underneath. So I lifted this car on axle stands, which uh, made it very tall, even for me, which I'm six foot seven. So if you're not a tall person, you may struggle a little bit. So uh, yeah, make sure you got something under your shoes or so under your feet. Ah, bloody hell, that's tight. All right, can't do this with one hand, so I have to take it off and show you guys after. All right. Is this still working, or yeah, it's working. So, as I said, I'm trying to pull this thing out. It is not very easy. Not a, not a, not a simple task. So, if you if you don't think you can do it, 
uh, you might as well just leave it for somebody who's actually a professional. Now, I have to admit, I am a mechanic, but uh, this car broke down at my house, as I said, so I don't, I'm just lazy to be honest, because I could get the recovery, tow it to the garage and do it there, but uh, I just don't want to piss about it to be honest. Right, so I took the bolt out, which like I said, it's a 10 mil bolt, and now the crankshaft sensor moves, so just apply a little pressure while wiggling it, and hopefully it will come out. I am struggling a bit. Ah, happy days, came out. All right, so there it is. Ah. Oh. So, old crankshaft sensor, genuine Hyundai, Hyundai, whatever you want to call it. Uh, has a bit of oil on it. I'm not sure if it's inside the block, so it should be oily or uh, seems black. So I think it's a little bit of uh, engine oil or car to gases. Because if this would be on the gear in the gearbox outside the engine, it should be completely dry or even have clutch dust on it. But because it's wet, I assume it's inside the engine. All right. So this plug, I'm uh, struggling to pull it out because it's jammed into something, and uh, I don't like taking off stuff that I don't have to take out. So I'm just gonna put the new sensor in. Connected to the uh, to the plug Put the pipe back in Hook everything I need to hook back in and I'm gonna Try starting the engine see if it works and if it does work I'll uh, chop this wire off because I'm not bothered with it and um, I'll um, I'll try to put everything back neatly, but before I do that before I chop this off I'll uh, try the new one see what it does because if it doesn't fix it, then I've got more investigations to do. So, uh, like I said, I'll fit the new one on, and then I'll put, I'll film it back again, see if it's sorted. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so as I said, I've just put the sensor back in. To be honest, putting the bolt on the sensor back in probably took me about 10 minutes. So, it is quite quite a fiddly job um, but I just want to see if the engine starts now I've left the uh, turbo intake pipe off so I'll I've got the engine math disconnected and off the vehicle so I won't be running it for long but I just want to see if the engine turns on so I will wipe the fault codes first and foremost just because I want it to be fresh and uh, if the engine starts, I will shut it off. So you see, I already have airflow sensor, intake air temperature sensor. So be just because I have all these disconnected, yeah. So I'll go ahead and clear the codes. The uh, mass sensors and everything else will still be on. I don't. I'm not bothered about it. I just want to see if the crankshaft sensor works now. So, as you can see, 177,000 miles. I can't see any sign of um, of broken wires or melted or anything like that. So, I won't, won't even bother checking the old sensor. Unless it doesn't start. So, let's see what it does. Hey, hey. Okay, now. Started first key. Yeah, let's try it again. Yep. Happy days. So that was it, folks. Uh, I sorted my issue. The crankshaft sensor was a difficult job to do. Uh, mostly it was difficult because I had no idea what it is, to be honest. But I hope this video helps you guys find it easier. And uh, after all you've seen and after all I've told you, if you're not confident, I suggest just call the AA man or a mobile mechanic or take it to the garage let them fix it because it's not a difficult job but uh, you need patience you need a little bit of skill and you need some tools nothing fancy just some sockets and whatever but 
if you think you can't handle it, just save yourself the trouble. I will be posting more videos, hopefully. Um, so if you're curious about whatever I managed to sort out, just subscribe, whatever, if you want. If not, just hit the like button. At least I know I helped somebody. Leave a kind or a nasty comment, whatever you want. This is the internet, so you can do whatever you want. There's no consequences. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. And see you next time. Bye-bye.